welcome back to the channel folks is this the dji mini 2 the dji mini 2 se or the dji mini se killer the truth is i don't really believe that but it is a phenomenal drone probably the best drone for 130 dollars us it is on amazon right now for 129 when i bought it a few months ago or in december 2023 i paid much more than that but it is a phenomenal little drone 2.5k video brushless motos to access gimbal and image with image with electronic image stabilization and probably the absolute best entry level beginning of June on the market I'm here now at uh, Discovery Bay and Providenciales and people um, always ask me in my videos where am I actually flying from I'm flying from the Turks and Caicos Islands and the island of Providenciales and Turks and Caicos is a multi-island state southeast of the, the Bahamas the British overseas territory and there is some amazing place to fly here the only issue is that the majority of the places to fly where there is absolutely great scenery are private spaces they're not public but i'm here in discovery bay i've flown here before i've flown the Potensic Atom SE and the Walcara T210 Mini. But this is about this little region that I refer to as the DJI Mini 2, Mini 2 SE, and Mini SE Killer. It's the Aspexlo G09 Pro. It records to a SD card and for many beginners or those who just get into the the hobby this is a good place to start crystal clear videos even though the resolution is only 2.5 K it has some downsides it struggles in the the wind it has um two speeds uh, but it is not um, very powerful the motors are not very powerful you get up to a 20 minute flight time and one battery it comes with two two batteries you have um, a very good um, transmission range it's like eight hundred meters which is about 2640 i believe feet so yeah fairly good half a mile or so i have never actually tested that tested it to that um distance i i wouldn't dare because it, it struggles in the wind but I've gotten it out to up to about 1500 feet and it did fairly well so it's a handy dandy little drone for a beginner and I believe the best thing in the price category the only thing that comes close is the Gorilla X38 which is a much bigger drone this is and the 249 grams and the 250 grams magic number the gorilla is over is about 358 grams 
but the grill has powerful brushless motors and a 4K camera, 3 axis gimbal. It's a fairly handy drone, but this aspects the drone is just phenomenal for what it can do. Has follow me. It's a GPS follow, so you just follow the the remote control, but it works well. Has waypoint or I think it's called surround fly or something, but it, it works well. The waypoints. It follow me works it has orbit it works horizon stays level you can't go wrong as a beginner in purchasing this this is the perfect first job and this is what i would recommend anyone to purchase before they purchase a, a dji job if you fly this job and then you you decide you want to get really serious into the hat. Then you could step up to one of the other more expensive brands, whether it's DJI or Femia, Hubson or Walcara or Potensic. But this is it. Absolutely gorgeous um, video. Good transmission. Signal. And there was one wire um, coming up into the antenna. So I guess that actually enhanced the signal. It's a, a Wi-Fi drone. But in this category, I've not come across any drone that is as impressive, that is as impressive as this one. So I am um, a little low the hair over the the canal. And this is a very beautiful place here to fly, but it's always quite um, windy. But when I flew the potency at the SC here, I had some very shaky videos. Granted that the potency at the SC doesn't have a manual gimbal and it relies on election image stabilization but it has a few a true 4k camera this drone here has a gimbal so it keeps the footage fairly stable and so while it's not exactly a DJI killer whether the Mini 2 or the Mini 2 SE or the Mini SE it's a very useful starter job in my view I don't know when this video will be posted maybe a few months down the line I am actually editing this video here coming up to the end of April and I understand that on the 29th of April DJI is going to release the Mini 2 SE 4K version just a while ago probably less than a month ago I purchased the Mini 2 SE 2.7K version that is a phenomenal beginner drone but before you spend that sort of money in purchasing the drone which is in the 300 dollars um, price range although i have seen it very recently at a reduced price on amazon at 279 but before you spend that sort of money i think you should start here with the aspects low g09 pro to see if you like the hobby 
You see, if this is something that you, you want to do, I don't think that you will be disappointed with this show. It's an absolutely good flyer and even an advanced flyer wouldn't have an issues at all flying this drone and I think we'll enjoy actually playing to run for fun it just goes to show that you don't have to buy the most expensive drone out there and the market to actually enjoy good videos and photos and have fun flying around It's a really, really decent drone, in my view. And once again, the drone that I actually would re recommend. In fact, it will probably be my first recommendation to any beginner. Normally, when you buy a drone in this category, you fly it once or twice, you do a review and unboxing and you put it in the shelf to get a dust or you, you give it away. But I find myself time and time again going back to this show and flying it around because it's uh, actually fun to fly. It's a joy to fly. So here's where I'm going to end this video. I'm coming in now for the landing. If you like this video, please share. Please comment. Please give it a thumbs up. But most of all, I thank you for taking time out to watch this video. Cheers. And I will see you in the next one. I appreciate your thumbs up for this video. Thank you very much. I can hear the demons call when they do it, they